We're inside the Mullins Museum. It is a quite spectacular collection. We're gonna go see uh, a lot of these cars. Uh, Larry Crane is gonna be giving us one of the tours. If you're familiar with who Larry is, you're gonna find out in a second. Look at that. This is gonna be crazy. This is our buddy Larry. How you doing? Excellent. We're at the Mullins Museum and we're gonna take a private tour and look at some of these incredible cars. What can we expect to see? Besides really cool cars. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. What's it's, all, it's all French. All handmade. Um, yeah, everything's all, French? Everything's French. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we get some escargot on the way out. It, it's in the garden. <laughs> You're, feel free. Let's go see. Let's go see. You'll be picked up on your own. Yes. 1886, England passed a rule, and these terrible fire-breathing monsters were running around in the 1880s, and he, they said that if you're going to drive one of these things, you can't go any faster than a walking man carrying a red flag. <laughs> This car right here has been doing the London to Brighton run for the last hundred years without fail. Every single year. She she wasn't driving. Someone else was driving. USA, Colonies, and Cuba. Hmm. That's what the chassis was made for. That's a silver that's a silk scarf you look at that right there. This tell me again. Which this what? scarf was created for the Shah of Iran. <laughs> so and if you're the Shah, I probably wouldn't want to be seen in this action. I'm sure this car lived in Paris. <laughs> Museum is all French cars. French car, French car. This one belonged to the Shah of Iran, if you know who that is. French car, French cars. But this one, this one's Larry's favorite. We've been looking at this thing for about a half an hour now. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be looking for another half an hour. This car has a hydraulic roof. This whole thing slides back. French people.
this car was at the 1939 New York World's Fair. And after the fair, when the Nazis came into Germany, the car ended up on the docks in New York City, covered in a tarp. The car stayed there until the 50s, and they completely forgot about it, until someone rediscovered it and dragged it away. Then the car ended up in a barn in Fresno, which is where these guys found it. The guy who owned the barn was allowing his kids to play in it. It's basically their toy. And now the car is here at the Mullen, and it's worth about five or six million dollars. Not bad for a barn find. And this is the car that Gene Kelly drove in American in Paris. Oh. Inline four cylinder engine with a whopping six horsepower. Frickin' French people. Just got back and Kathy spotted several deer on the backside of our house grazing on the grass. We've had so much rain that the um, uh, that the grass is abundant pretty much everywhere. We had, we're thinking about taking a hike this weekend, which we probably will, and we'll take you guys along. But had a great time at the Mullins Museum. Uh, I had not been there for a very long time, and it was really spectacular. Big thanks to those guys for inviting me up, and uh, and we just had a great time hanging out with lots of friends, lots of people that uh, hadn't seen in a while, and some people, you know, I see all the time. Gonna wrap things up for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we do have Wheels and Waves coming next weekend. It does seem like there's a little bit of rain activity. I'm hoping it doesn't, you know, 
uh, create a problem for us. But uh, regardless, I'll be there. Ken will be there. My team will be there and we'll have a, a really great time even if we're just having coffee. But again, we do have actor Jonathan Banks who's going to be coming hanging out with us and walking the show for the couple hours. But we also have a, another interesting thing happening. And big thanks to uh, this gentleman's name is Kausha from Starbucks. Kausha is also a baker. He's going to be making a car cake for us. So if you come to Wills and Waves, not only for the first 100 cars will the coffee be free, but you're going to get a really awesome piece of cake. And from what he said, it might look like a car, car cake. Not really sure. We're going to see. Okay, that's all the time I got, but we got some really big things planned for this week. Going to be awesome. Be sure to subscribe, hang out with us, enjoy the ride. We're having a good time. We'll see you tomorrow.